good morning august 29 2020 we are in the garden trying to see what can we do to get our garden ready for fall so i have a egyptian onion i have a top not the bottom and I like to leave the bottom in the ground and just harvest the leaves for eating and the leaves are growing already so that's a sign for me that I should be harvesting the bulbs to replace and I have them here can just turn you a little bit for you to see it have them in the ground on the ground here by me just from 1.5 foot 1.5 feet by four feet space I harvest those bubbles and I still have some on the uh, bed that I didn't harvest so now when I harvest them they stem they grow on I chop them up and I mulch the garden and I have a video on that how to mulch your garden with your garden waste so got that done and I like to mulch it with newspapers so if you get newspapers you get ads. I just like to go through them to make sure those kind of ones that feel plasticky, hard to uh, tear apart. I don't like to have them um, among them. And I have a bag, I just like to keep them in it so that I can mulch with. So let's see what we have here. I have 10 pound sugar. Um, So 10 pound, this one is 25 pound flour thing. So after it's empty, I shake it all off and fold and have it here. So those are things that you can easily mulch your garden with. What do I have here? Have some financial report that can easily go in the trash because there's nothing special like sensitive information and some investment um, related information. I think it has something to do with taxes or things like that. But nothing sensitive information wise. Have them in this. Flower. and sugar and newspaper so i'm going to mulch my garden with those things so when you receive those type of things or you have them if you need mulch for your garden that's a free way one free way to mulch your garden without spending money and without and decreasing your waste and in the past i have mulched my garden with hay wood chips and I mulch with four leaves as well. But since I don't get the witches from the city for free anymore, they don't deliver. And the hay, I had to pay for it. Before I spend money buying hay, well, I wanted to see what I can recycle from my own house. So those, that's what comes to those things. In the past, what I have done is I have a box. I still have it. And when I have sensitive documents like a bank statement, I'll put them in it and we'll use it for barbecue. And I'll use those same type of paper to mulch my garden as well so they break down very fast like i'll put them in pile like this i'll put in one spa and just put some branches on them they stay until it rains and that say they stay together and i will use that and put a much if i do that in fall by next summer you don't see them in the garden so let's see what we can do to that 1.5 feet by uh, four feet space that we wanted to march right behind me with what we have And that's a spot that has a lot of onion and that like to go And it's this is an example that I don't like to have in it. I don't know why I think this one is fine A lot of time I'll take it out too when it has a lot of colors. I like to take it out but that's One but if it's plasticky, I don't know it really. My favorite one are those type of texture. So let's start with, and this one has a lot of color, but I'm fine adding it to it as well. So let me 
let's let take it. so you can see what I have on the floor here now I'm going to just bring it closer because I'm charging the video the camera here I'm not going to move it but I'm just going to see if I can get I can zoom it when I start doing that probably started from this angle here and let's mod with ads newspapers Flower Because I have a lot of onion here, I don't want to smudge or anything, so I'm going to cut in pieces. They will help retain wind as well. In this area, you won't get too dry.
and let me see if I can get you close so that you can see what I did. And pretty much we will um see around the concrete if we can march heavily so that we can get um, grass to stay away from the bed. Now as you can see here that's what I try to do and I'm just going to show you an example. Do you see this onion here growing in the in the block in the cedar blocks here? Let me show you that here. Here. Do you see it? So it does not have covering. It's growing already. You can see the onion.